Welcome to another video. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the biomedical sciences. Suppose if you would like to go in for a biomedical science field or if you are in any sort of medical field you would like to enter whether you might be in your bachelor's or your master's or if you want to go in for your PhD what are the career opportunity and future scope that you have as a biomedical scientist or biomedical science person so let's get started to the video and let's talk about the complete detail of this biomedical sciences so whenever you hear of the word biomedical sciences, you might be often confused with biomedical engineering field also. So I'm going to give you a gist of what is this biomedical sciences and biomedical engineering. So biomedical engineering is more inclined towards the instrumentations or the equipments or the method or building up certain equipments for the healthcare sector. But biomedical science is mostly related or inclined towards the research in healthcare department like working as a biomedical scientist and all this thing so first we'll be talking about what is this biomedical science so do not be confused with biomedical engineering it is about the instruments or equipments used in the uh, example we can take it in a healthcare sector uh, any sort of instrument or how the engineering process actually works over there but in biomedical sciences as a life science graduate you'll be working a lot of research project uh, diagnostic and then uh, finding out a treatment for a specific disease and all comes under biomedical sciences. So what is this biomedical sciences going to be? It's going to be a combination of very interesting things like human physiology, like human body, and what are the uh, pathogens that affects the human individual, human pathology, and of course, a pharmacology. Suppose if you have done your BS, uh, BSc in microbiology or biochemistry or biotechnology or whatever it is, suppose if you would like to go in for master's in biomedical sciences, of course, if you would like to go in for any sort of research, then definitely biomedical sciences is one very specially, I can say it for the research field. And it focuses more on biology, chemistry and medicine yes of course um, if you have a little bit of knowledge of chemistry and you are literally into biology and medicine if you're allowed to go in for healthcare sector then definitely biomedical science is one of the field and here you'll be going in for diagnostics prevention and treatment of many human diseases that's why pathology is also involved here so there are many uh, streams which are uh, under this biomedical sciences. You can see human biology, uh, pathology. If you have studied pathology, you can take up this field. Biochemistry, molecular and cell biology. You can find genetics, pharmacology, immunology, applied or clinical chemistry or microbiology, epidemiology, and biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering, a little bit contradictory, as I already mentioned uh, earlier. Like this is what is all about a biomedical sciences. The next comes what are the career prospects that you have as a biomedical scientist. So let me talk about all the things. Uh, I'm talking about the global scenario as well as the Indian scenario. So what are the designations that are actually available? You can become a clinical psychologist, of course, a research assistant, R&D research associate, research scientist, biomedical scientist, Biomedical engineer, usually a biomedical engineering, if you have studied, you will become a biomedical engineer, but there are possibility that you can also become a biomedical engineer. If you would like to go in for developing or building up some sort of equipments, you can also become a biomedical engineer. The next comes research assistant, research associate, senior research associate in a company or in a research laboratory. And what are the departments you can go or areas of recruitment? As I already mentioned, you can go for any health organization. It can be the hospital or research center or research institutes or whatever it is. You can go for all the health organization. Even a biomedical science, if you have studied, you can become a for you can enter into a forensic science department. This is a wonderful field because uh, if you have a well known knowledge about a biomedical uh, devices along with the process that actually takes place, you can literally go for 
a forensic science department of course since you have a knowledge of chemistry you can go in for pharmaceutical industries and of course research organizations you can go in for it and colleges or university if you would like to go as uh, enter into any sort of academia then you can go for it but this needs uh, like uh, some net uh, examination you have to write like csar net ls if you write then you can become a professor then you can go for colleges and universities in india if you want to go as a professor abroad then definitely you need to have your phd degree uh, from any part of the world and then you can become a professor also now the next comes what are the top companies that you can look for a job if you have done your biomedical sciences what are the companies this is the most important thing suppose if you'd like to go for any uh, companies you need to know what are the companies that you can go for i'm talking about the indian companies very specifically so you can go for peramal group aditya birla group max healthcare institute metronic you can go for it and then zindal nature care institute katak hospital technique um dy patel hospital and research center fortis healthcare limited and there are many many healthcare department i've just limited some of the things you can look for whichever company you would like to go in for you can go for it you can go for syngene you can go for biocon uh, you can go for many dr reddy's laboratory and you can become a biomedical scientist and there are many many opportunities which are available this is mostly related to the healthcare department so i have mentioned over here but a biomedical science person can enter into most of the pharma pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies okay the next comes most important thing is government jobs in india yes it's believed that this biomedical uh, science is when you compare it with india and the global scenario the global scenario rate of a biomedical science is actually increasing comparatively with india uh, if you go and check in for the salary of a biomedical science person abroad they get a little bit more than what indian people are usually getting so it is believed that this global rate or the growth rate uh, in case of biomedical science is actually going to be increased to 12 to 20 percentage almost 2027 or 2030 it is believed uh, so but there are uh, certain things that you have to take into consideration if you go in for biomedical sciences you have to choose a very specific college where you have recruitment or else you can go for your masters or for your bachelors or for your phd abroad and pursue a lot of techniques that's been thought over there and then you can come back to india and you can earn well usually a biomedical science person abroad earns a lot than comparatively with an in india so but there are a lot of government jobs if you want to enter you can enter because uh, this is going to be a permanent positions rather than going in for this so you can become a research scientist a biomedical scientist and initial payment i have written it's almost going to be 9 lakh per annum if you work uh, as a, after completing your phd if you're going to join in any laboratories as a research scientist you're going to get uh, rupees uh, 9 lakh per annum and you can also become a health counselor in a hospital or in a psychiatric laboratory wherever it is um, the salary package is for one year is going to be 7.5 lakh per annum and you can also become a research associate initially you'll be getting some almost 5 lakh per annum and you can also become a educator as i already mentioned you can become a professor in a college assistant professor or associate professor in a college initially when you're going to start as a lecturer or assistant professor you're going to get almost um, 4.7 lakh uh, per annum and if you're going to work wanted to work as a research science assistant then you will be getting 3 to 4 lakh and you can also work as a jrf or srf you would if you would like to go in for some icmr project because that's really more uh, correlated to the medical research so after writing your icmr examinations you can land up working as a jrf and srf in icmr funded project or even in any uh, government laboratories like csar dbt whatever it is you can go in for this so these are some of the government jobs that are available for a biomedical person what about the private jobs in india as i already mentioned you can become a counselor genetic counselor you can become of course there are a lot of biotechnology and pharmaceutical company recruits biomedical science people so you can also enter into r and d department initially you will be getting some 3 to 4 lakh per annum and you can also work in a company as a biomedical scientist and clinical psychologist if you go in for um hospitals or research institute like nimhens then you can work as a clinical psychologist as well as in some hospitals or some medical colleges if you go for it you can actually work over there biomedical engineer if you want to become almost 4 lakh per annum if you would like to enter into biomedical engineering field then you can go for all these things the next comes 
Okay, as you have mentioned earlier, like biomedical sciences are more popular uh, even abroad. We need we need to take a lot more time for India to come up to that level. So career designation abroad for a biomedical sciences is going to be maximum. I'm going to tell you. So you can become a clinical psychologist there, also a research scientist or a biomedical scientist, a genetic counselor, a research assistant, R and D senior associate, biomedical scientist, a lecturer or a professor, and a biomedical. Engineer, same over here, but the salary packages kind of increases. The best country to study or the best country to work as a biomedical science. So you can take up your bachelor's or your master's or your PhD or your postdoc in any of these countries. You can also take a job in any of these countries. When we talk about the growth rate of a biomedical science job, these countries usually have the maximum growth rate along with initially as a fresher, you're going to get a handsome of salary in most of these countries like US, Canada, UK, Singapore is actually providing a lot of opportunities. And of course, China, France, Germany and Australia, whether for your education or for your uh, master's or bachelor's or for your PhD or for your postdoc, as well as as any sort of jobs working in a laboratories or in a research laboratories, research institutes or e as well as in case of any sort of uh, companies, I can say. So the next one is salary package. So I'm going to divide this salary package in India, Europe, US. And if you're going to do your PhD in biomedical sciences, how much you're going to get abroad, postdoctoral fellow, assistant professor and associate professor abroad. As we already know, um, if you want to do your PhD, your stipend is almost going to be rupees 31,000 per month along with your HRA. Uh, SRF is rupees 35,000 along with your HRA. Usually an assistant professor gets almost 30,000 initially as a fresh or 25,000 initially as a fresher. And if they have a PhD and if they get a government position, then 60 to 1 lakh is going to be 60,000 to 1 lakh per month is going to be the salary of an assistant professor or associate professor. Usually an associate professor get uh, 80 to 1 lakh per month. So I'll be talking about PhD abroad, postdoc abroad, assistant or associate professor abroad only, not in India because the scenario is well known. In India, if I have to talk about how much a health counselor after pursuing biomedical science is going to get, you are going to see uh, 7.5 lakh per annum, which is a reasonable one if you're going to start as a uh, initial fresher. And clinical psychologists will be getting 6.2 lakh per annum for one year. And if you become an educator like assistant professor or almost a uh, fresher will be getting 4.7 lakh and it can vary uh, till 12 lakh if you go in as a government professor. And this is rehabilitation counselor. You will be getting 4 lakh per annum. Psychiatric technicians, then they would be getting a minimum amount of rupees 3 lakh per annum. If I have to talk about Europe, you can literally see the difference. For Europe, for one year, you almost get 24,000 to 30,000 euros per annum initially as a fresher itself. And when I have to talk about US, in US as a fresher, you'll be getting 45,000 uh, US dollars per annum, which is a very good amount. And it is believed that in the abroad countries like Europe and in the US, uh, biomedical jobs are going to increase or the pay rise is going to increase like 5 to 10 percentage every year. There is going to be an increment 5 to 10 percentage every year. It is believed in the European countries as well as in the US. And PhD abroad, suppose you would like to do your PhD abroad in biomedical field, how much type in you're going to get. If you're going in for UK, you're going to get 1,100 to 1,800. And if you're going to go in for other European countries, you're going to get uh, 1,400 to 2,400 also euros you're going to get. If you're going in for US, you're going to get 2,000 to 2,600 US dollars, either in Australia or Australian dollars or New Zealand, you're going to go, you're going to get this much amount of stipendship. So postdoctoral position, if you want to go for postdoctoral position abroad, usually in a European country, you're going to get 40,000 to 50,000 euros annually, you're going to get as a postdoctoral fellow. So this is also a wonderful opportunity if you would like to go for. Suppose if you have completed your PhD in biomedical sciences, but you would like to go abroad and work as assistant professor or associate professor, then you'll be getting in a European country 60,000 to 80,000 euros per annum, which is literally a good amount. And it's believed that the hike is going to be 10 to 20 percentage hike, you can see every year. So this is a wonderful opportunity if you would like to take up other. 
Okay, what about the rest of the things? Okay, is do I have to restrict only to these profile or can I go for some other profile? And it's also believe a uh, biomedical scientist after finishing their master's or after finishing their PhD or after finishing their postdoc, if they wanted to go in for any management sectors, if they want to go for strategic management or marketing management or any sort of business development, there are a lot of global opportunities available even as a biomedical person after completing all this degree. You can take up management studies and then you can go in for any companies or research institute and you can become uh, any sort of uh, management positions you can take up. In India also, it's also believed that people who return from US or from the UK after completing the PhD postdoc, completing biomedical sciences, usually gets a lot of salary. And when they come over here, they used to work as a vice president in a company or CEO in a company uh, or into a finance department or management department. So that opportunity is also available. Apart from that, can a biomedical science person can enter into any other field? Yes, you can become a forensic expert also by writing examinations in India. Or you can enter into toxicology field. You can go in for health policy. Yes, if you would like to go in for health policy, you can also go in for health policy. And if you would like to go in for any sort of engineering field, then you can take a bio instrumentation, medical imaging. Yes, bio, you, you can go for medical imaging and you can also enter into bio uh, technology companies, pharmaceutical companies, drug designing, drug delivering companies, medical equipment building companies, manufacturing, supplying, hospital, healthcare. So these are some of the opportunity. Apart from these opportunities, you can literally go for this one. So if I have to tell the real truth of biomedical sciences, of course, you can take up your position. But the most important thing as a biomedical science you need to have is um, getting yourself equipped with the equipments or with the process that takes place in the healthcare sector or learning a lot of techniques and having a lot of experience in those sectors that you want to enter uh, by taking up a fellowship or taking up any sort of internships abroad as well as in India. So if you'd like to have an uh, exposure abroad, you can literally go back over there, take up some opportunity and then come back to India. And then you can also become a biomedical scientist. But it's believed if you have taken biomedical science it's believed the growth rate or the pay scale is going to increase in few of the companies that have been listing out. So if you're looking for some opportunity abroad, definitely, if you're belonging to this field, then you can look for your opportunities abroad also. After having an exposure, you can come back to India and work in India as well. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are watching out this video, like thinking after biomedical sciences, what do I have to do? Or if you want to go in for biomedical sciences research, then I'm going to tell you a lot of opportunities available, a lot of projects are available. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. So if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions regarding biomedical sciences, or if you find some problem in understanding the career opportunity or the future scopes, you can always put your questions in the comment section. So we'll check back into the question and we'll come up with uh, new videos also. Thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you.